up front though. The man from Azerbaijan who's capable of going uh, um, a lot quicker than that. 13 minutes 11 his best. 13.23 just under this year. And he hits the bell. 400 metres to go. It's quite clear that he's going to reach the final. He could jog to the finish now and still make it. The Russian now beginning to try and get back. He's sixth place at the moment. The four men in front look safe. But unless he can really pull it out of the bag, it's almost like a, a relay leg now he needs to close up on these four ahead of them. But the four in front, I have to say, do look a bit fresher than he does. And they are quickening down the back straight. So then, as the Ethiopian, Demlu just comes up with his uh, last lap to come. Not often you see an Ethiopian going nearly a lap behind. But around the uh, top bend comes our leader, Haile Ibramov. And it's been an easy run for him, breaking at halfway, comes up to the line to take the victory. A pretty slow time indeed, but he didn't need to do any more than that. 13 minutes, 50.76 seconds, and it's going to be the South African. Jeremy Andreas, who uh, sprints to the line to come in second. The Italian La Rosa coming in, in third. Nixon fourth. And the Estonian. Trudrik Nurmet coming in just ahead of the Russian Andrei Safanov, who will be amongst those having to wait to see if he gets through as a fastest loser. And what I've seen in this race, I would imagine the second race will be fairly similar. I think the likelihood of him getting through is probably quite good. Unless we see a real attempt to push out in the second heat. Demlu of Ethiopia comes to the line as well. And a finisher to the man from Guam. who drifted back Victor Manuel Gonzalez Romero. But the class of the field, without any doubt, was highly Ibrahimov the European Indoor Champion at 3,000 metres, looking very good for that final, which will come up on Friday. The crowd has thinned since we uh, had uh, the uh, final final, so to speak. The uh, women's 3,000 metre steeplechase. So we await our second uh, heat of the 5,000 metres. And the humidity is very... Non-existent, really, Well, non-existent. I was going to say very, very low, but I'll, I'll go with uh, non-existent. I can barely feel anything. As well as the last few days we've been here, you can really feel it weighing.